grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage of the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference in who we go. No, go, no, no, no. Said I'd never do it again. No, 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 no. Man, I said. No, 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 no. to the Overcomers of Relapse podcast. I am D, your host. This is episode nine for my podcast. So welcome to all listeners out there. It is great to share this experience with you. I just want to put this out there right from the beginning. This podcast is not only pertaining to relapse as far as drugs, alcohol, or any other addiction. We are open to all topics. However, our main topic is why do we have addictive behaviors and how can we overcome them? On this episode, I would like to talk on the topic of stop messing with me. I am going to really enjoy this one. (laughs) Stop messing with me. I am sure we all have made this statement before. Most likely, Using another choice of words, I definitely am included. Especially when you're in detox and rehab, I would say maybe for the first 10 days, you are completely unstable, sick, frustrated, and angry. And what's so funny about it is mostly with yourself. At the slightest situation, It will send you right over the edge. Like, what's taking them so long with my meds? I don't want to attend any groups today. I am not in the mood. Stop messing with me. Sounds familiar? (laughs) You have a lot of addictive people that discharge themselves out against doctor's orders because it's just a hard thing to go through and they would rather return to their addictive behavior before the real healing begins. Look, no judgment here. (laughs) I have done it myself before. I understand. You feel like stop messing with me. My friends, God forbid, if you should ever relapse, please, please do not follow others and my example. Stay, stay, stay. There is a quote that says to keep repeating the same thing over and expecting a different result is called insanity. I know people that have walked out of rehab and went right to their drug dealer or started drinking again and died. Please, let's get that help that is provided. I know it's hard, but great rewards come out of humility and spiritual confidence. (laughs) I have a funny story 
about when I was in rehab at this particular rehab center. Some of you may have heard of it. Not to say its name, but it is in Dickinson, Tennessee. They drive go-karts to get around campus. Make a long story short, I had just checked in, but I was already detoxed. I met a patient on my way in. She was very friendly. She stated, hi there. Welcome to rehab. We are glad you are here. I said, well, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that. Later in the dining area, I saw her again. I said, hi. Hey there. How you doing? She looked at me and screamed. Ah! I hate this place. Help me, brother. We both can escape. They're always leaving the keys in the golf carts. I will try. First, we will load up with rocks. You sit in the back. And if they try to come after us, throw rocks as hard as you can. And I will floor this golf cart to the pedal. <laughs> I talked her out of it. But do you know she came up with another plan? She made slight incision cuts on her wrist to look like she was suicidal. The police showed up to take her. She looked at me and said, this could have been the both of us. You should have went with my plan. <laughs> the things that make sense to us while we are detoxing are insane. Please stay and get the help you need. It may seem like it, but they are not messing with you personally. It's to maintain order among them and the patients that are detoxing. Now, in my opinion, I am going to express when the right time to use the phrase, stop messing with me is needed. And if you like to use other choice words, I do too, but I'm trying to keep it clean, that you feel will make this statement more effective, by all means, go for it. Number one, when your old drug dealer is trying to hook you up, friend, what should you say? Stop messing with me. <laughs> Number two, when old associates talks about you or make you feel bad because you do not want to use, get drunk, or hang out with them, hey, you all, what do you say? Stop messing with me. And number three, when old cravings of drugs of choice start flaring up and you have dreams of using and your mind is listening to the temptations, what do you say? Stop messing with me. <laughs> Whether you have an addiction or not, you can send others and yourself this message. Life can be complicated, and we are either bothered sometimes by others or ourselves. So please, instead of turning to your addictive behaviors, I am not just talking about substance abuse, overeating, overspending, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Whatever the addictive behavior may be, what do you say to yourself? Stop messing with me. Let us all take more time to evaluate ourselves and improve our behaviors and stop tending and gossiping about others' affairs. Stop messing with others, especially people with addictions. They have enough to deal with and they don't need people messing with them. They need people supporting them. We all do. Well, 
that is the end of this episode. Please visit my website, The Overcomers of Relapse Lounge. It is listed on the screen. Please visit my Facebook group page. It is called Overcomers of Relapse. Feel free to join and become a member. It's a lot of great postings and quotes and just great people to hang around. Please feel free to post on website blog, share thoughts, and also feel free to chat. Contact information is on there also, along with a lot of great music. Like Michael and Janet said, stop pressuring me. It's on the website music also. <laughs> Let me know your opinions and thoughts, and also if you would like to be a guest on the podcast. Thanks again for joining me. Talk with you all again very soon. Take care of yourselves out there. Bye-bye. Grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage of the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference in the go. No, go, no, no, no. Said I'll never do it again. No, 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 no. Man, I slept. No, 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 no. No, no, said I never do it again. No, 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 no. Well, I'm a little bit worried. No, 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 no. Ooh, said I never do it again. No, 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 no. Man, I'm tired of this shit. I love you. No, 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 no. 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 Said I never do it again. No, 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 no,